131. Which of the following compounds precipitates from a solution that has the concentrations indicated? And then we have uh, C appendix J for KSP values. Okay. So in this case, we have CAHPO4, right? They gave us the concentration of the CA2+, plus, which is 0 0.01 molarity, and then the HPO4 2 minus is two, point, uh, 2 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity. And I went into the back of the book to find out the KSP value, the solubility product, which is 7.0 times 10 to the negative 7th. So in this case, we have to find out if calcium hydrogen phosphate is going to precipitate with these molarities. Well... The only way that we can know if something's going to precipitate it if, is if we just compare the QSP value we get with the uh, molarities that we have currently with the known equilibrium KSP. If the Q value is greater than the KSP, that's a supersaturated solution and a precipitate will form. Remember, a precipitate is a solid, so it's going to be like remaining solid that doesn't dissolve. But if your QSP is less than the KSP, that's unsaturation, and a precipitate will not form. So, like all KSP equations, you got to come from a balanced equation. So, let's see. CaHBO4, that's the solid. Double arrow, because we are dissociating in equilibrium conditions. They gave us the ions, so thank you for that. Ca2+, plus. it's a charge, so that's aqueous, plus HPO4, that's also a charge, 2 minus, so that's also aqueous. Uh, it's all balanced already for us, so I'm just going to go in and I'm going to just put in our values. Calcium, they told us, was 0 0.01 molarity, and the hydrogen phosphate is 2 times 10 to the negative 6 molarity. Okay, so I'm going to just put this off to the side, because I'm going to use it to find out a QSP. QSP is the same formula as if you would find a KSP. It's just equal to the products raised to their coefficients. So let's see what we have. QSP equals the concentration of the calcium, 2 plus, times the calcium of HPO4. I don't have to really raise these to any coefficients because the numbers in front of the calcium and the hydrogen phosphate, they're both 1. So you can raise it to the first, but you don't have to. So I'm just going to plug in the numbers. 0 0.01 goes for the calcium, and then 2 times 10 to the negative 6 goes for the hydrogen phosphate. So we have a QSP of equal to 0 0.01 times 2 times 10 to the negative 6th. Let's plug this all into the calculator and let's see what we get. So QSP equals 2 times 10 to the negative 6 times 0 0.01, 2 times 10 to the negative eighth. And now all you got to do is just compare the QSP value with the known KSP. So we have a QSP of 2 times 10 to the negative eighth. And then we have a KSP value of 7.0 times 10 to the negative seventh. Always look at your exponents first. If they're different, which they are in this case, one is 10 to the negative eighth, one is 10 to the negative seventh, you don't even have to look at the beginning numbers. All you have to do is just look at those exponents to just see which one is bigger or smaller. On a number line, negative seven is greater than negative eight, right? Negative eight is smaller. So that means that the QSP is less than the KSP because that number is smaller. So since we have a QSP of less than the KSP, we are in an unsaturated solution and a precipitate will not form. So there will be no remaining solid sip itate in this solution, which means that all of it will probably dissolve. Whoop. Definitely dissolve, no precipitate. And that's it for this one. So no precipitate here. Okie dokie. Let me know in the comments if this helped you out. I love to talk to you guys, and I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's keep studying hard, and I will see you in future lessons. I'll talk to you in future lessons, right? Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.